Okay, now the first part of defending yourself from scams and schemes is being diligent when you are going through your inbox and Gmail. Now I've actually gone into my spam folder um, because my I've been using this for quite a while and it has sorted things in a way that when I reported a spam or it recognizes as such. But what you wanna do is over here on the left is the sender over here on the right is the topic or the subject, excuse me, subject. If you see something that's too good to be true or just jumping on it, like you see all these stars, there's just something, don't click on it. Just um, click it, report it as spam right away. But if you accidentally click on something and you can see here, check your account, payout, verification. And let's just say you accidentally click on it. Okay, that doesn't mean that you've had a problem. Now, this is definitely a scam. They want me to verify here. Do not click on that. But the other way to make sure is what if you accidentally click on it or you're not sure, check the email address and domain at K3 R B A, a whole bunch of numbers. This clearly is not a company whatsoever. If I were getting an email from, let's say, Amazon or from a reputable company, you would see at Amazon.com or at whichever company.com. And none of this resembles anything, but the people will click and try to win because it looks too good to be true. And it is. Now, on the other hand, there the uh, AI will send items like I like to cook. And this is from ANOVA. And uh, this, I actually use this at sorted somehow and report this. This is not spam. So you're constantly teaching your inbox, being careful, one, not to click on things. If you do accidentally click on them, then you make sure that uh, you don't go any further. Click on any attachments or any links inside. Um, as well as if you know there's something in your spam box that is, like this one again, that is not spam, you can return it to be spam. Or like this one, this is definitely spam, you can, there will be a button right up here to make it spam. So there you go. Your first level is you when it comes to avoiding scams and schemes.